Fujifilm is known for outstanding JPEG processing in camera. With the XRAW Studio, you can use the camera's image processing engine to convert RAW files to high-quality JPEG images in your desktop. I'm Jan Gonzalez, and let's explore the XRAW Studio. In your camera, go to the menu, connection setting, PC connection mode, and choose USB RAW conversion. Connect your camera to your computer, and let's launch the software. On the left part is the connected camera information. You have the camera model and battery level. Keep in mind that the RAW conversion is only compatible with the RAW file taken by the same camera model as the camera connected to the computer. In this case, I use the Fujifilm GFX to capture these images. Next up is the source image folder. This is where you browse for your files in a computer. Just under it, you'll find a histogram for the selected image. Then, the image information area for a detailed information of the selected image. Now let's go to the bottom part. Here you will see the thumbnail of your images. And on the left corner, you'll have the option to choose to show or hide converted JPEG or TIFF files. The option to show all RAW files including those taken by a model other than the connected camera or just the RAW files only taken by the same model with the connected camera. You can also organize the thumbnails accordingly. Now we go up to the toolbar. Here you will find viewing options on the selected image, single view mode and the before and after view mode. And on the right part of the toolbar, you have the zoom selection, the actual pixel mode, the zoom in and out tool, and the hand tool. And for the profile pane, this is where you will see all save custom profiles. This is the conversion settings pane. This is where you process and do your image adjustments. The default loaded settings you see here are the settings on the camera when you shot the image. Let's fine tune this image. And now I'm ready to convert my image. But first, let's save this setting as a profile so we can apply it later to the other images with just one click. To do that, I'll just click Save Profile, choose a profile name, and click OK. Now my custom profile is saved in the profile pane named Profile 1. I can now click Convert to apply the settings I made. And there you have it. Now let's try batch conversion. You can batch convert as many images as you want, but for now, we're just going to choose three. I'll command click on the images that I want, and in the profile pane, I'll choose profile one to apply the same settings that I used in the first image. When all settings are okay, we can now batch convert the three files by clicking the convert button. There you go, we have just converted three files in a matter of seconds. Just imagine the time saved by using the custom profile and batch conversion. I hope you enjoy using the XRAW Studio and thank you for watching.